What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this UWS toolbox. It's gonna to be chest style, so it doesn't take up the full bed. Still leaves room here on the sides. Let's check it out. First thing to point out about this, it's a chest style, so it sits down in the bed underneath the rails, so it doesn't sit up here and take up any space on the rails. So your tie down points, if you have stake pocket tie down points, those are exposed, you can still use those. There won't be any interference from the toolbox there. And also down the sides, you see the gap between the rails and the box, that's gonna leave those tie down points open as well to tie down whatever cargo you might need. Our toolbox is set into place today. We haven't fully installed it. You will have to drill holes through the bottom of the box and your truck bed. So make sure you check underneath before you go to install it. You're going to need to buy the hardware that is sold separately as well to get it installed. And one thing to do when you do place it, it has an offset lid, which means it has a little bit of a gap here. So you can push that to the back of the bed. You want to make sure you test it so it still opens all the way. You can't push it all the way to the back of the bed because that's going to have interference with the lid. So make sure before you go to start drill holes, you set it in place, make sure the lid opens all the way. You're going to have two latches. So you can open up from either side. Now it does have a lock on the driver's side, but you can only lock it over here. So just locking it here, we'll lock up both so the latches won't work. But opening it is pretty easy. Just pull on the latch. It's got a paddle latch and then you'll lift up on the lid. Now you get to about here and it opens itself. So pretty much once you pull this, it pops up and goes up on its own. So if you do have tools in one hand and you just pull this latch, it's gonna open up so you can drop the tools in. How the latches work here, you have this rod that connects both of them. That's how they work at the same time when you pull on the lever. I like that there's a shield here as well. So if you are throwing tools back here and accidentally hit this rod, it's less likely to be bent or broken. The toolbox is gonna have 8.2 cubic feet of space. So that's gonna be plenty for the bigger containers with tools in there or let alone just loose tools set in. Now it doesn't have any holders for the screwdrivers or anything like other toolboxes. So the container is gonna be a good way to keep everything consolidated. Another part that's important to the lid is gonna be these gas struts. They are built in there. That's what makes the lid pop up as easily as it does. Looking at the lid, it's not only insulated with foam on the inside, which means it's not just a hollow lid. So if you were to go set something heavy on top, you wouldn't have to worry about caving in or denting as easily. And then along the outside, you also have the foam weather seal. So when it's closed, it's gonna help keep those elements out along with the lid coming down a little bit more over the lip of the box. That way it's gonna be harder for any of the elements to go up and inside. So the outside of the box is gonna be a glossy black powder coat finish with a diamond pattern. So I think that's nice. It's not just flat black because then any dent or scratch is gonna show up. The diamond plating may look nicer and cover some of that up. Overall, I do like this chest style toolbox. I like that it leaves the space on either side. That way I can still use my tie down points and even the stake pockets. And if you take some longer things like lumber or ladders, you might be able to fit it here on the sides. Now, if that's something you do all the time, I would suggest checking out a crossover style toolbox that's going to sit up on the rails. So if you don't have tie down points here, you don't care about the stake pockets, it will cover those up, but it's going to leave a gap at the bottom so you can slide the lumber and ladders in underneath. That way you don't have to sacrifice that space with your toolbox. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.